72% of children vaccinated in Australia fully vaccinated for their age. And of that remaining 8%, um, you're looking at about half who are not up to date uh, because of reasons of access, a lack of opportunity, um, disadvantage. And the other half is around a lack of acceptance of vaccination. And they're actually two socially and demographically quite distinct groups as well. Australia um, had a, a big commitment put in place in the mid-90s to increase our immunisation rates, which were reported as being quite low. And uh, we, we had this seven-point plan, basically, which included, included a raft of measures. Um, one was to have a national register, which means that you can actually keep track of what kids have had and what they haven't had. And that's very helpful for keeping children up to date. And also knowing how you're tracking, so you get feedback on how you're tracking and where you need to improve. Uh, we've had um, campaigns, we've had uh, incentives for both immunisation providers, the doctors and nurses who give vaccines, and for parents as well. And those incentive uh, packages have changed over time. So right now we, ha we have quite strong financial incentives for parents to fully vaccinate their children. Um, and most of the incentives for, help, for providers have been removed. So really the onus nowadays is on parents to get their kids up to date so they can access those government payments, but also access, in some states, entry to childcare centres. Now that doesn't mean that the children who, whose parents do not vaccinate can't access those things as well. We have um, exemptions in place for the families who are, uh, are very certain that they do not want to vaccinate. Um, or the very small number of children who have a genuine medical exemption to vaccination. It's really important that we communicate um, where, what the problem is with vaccination rates so that the, the public, the professional community and policymakers have an accurate idea of uh, why we have low vaccination rates in some regions and population groups and what actually works in changing that. Because if there's a perception that it's all about, there's, there, for example in Australia there's been a perception that our immunisation rates are declining, which is false, that it's only about parents who reject vaccination, um, that's false, that's half the contributor. Um, and that all you need to do is stop these anti-vaccine groups who are influencing them and everything will be okay. Um, it's a complex problem uh, and it is very challenging to communicate that with the wider community. But we have an obligation to make sure that that accurate message is getting out there so that the solutions are as um, evidence-based and well-targeted and appropriate as possible and we don't have um, policies that are unhelpful, uh, that may themselves have unintended negative consequences. Mm -hmm.